Okay, my basic overview of the Eunice Guinix primers, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, out of Bosnia-Herzegovina. Okay, uh, and again guys, I repeat myself, but if you like the content, you like the way this series is going, please hit the subscribe and the like button. And if you feel like sending some support to the channel, there is a link to my Patreon account down below in the description box. Okay, Unix Guinness uh, primers out of Bosnia Herzegovina. Um, but the only complaint people have is generally these are sold in a carton of 5,000. And it's kind of hard to go with this when you've never tried it, you don't know how it's going to work to buy 5,000 primers, which would be about 500 bucks on a good day. So $100 a sleeve, maybe less if you get somebody cutting you a break buying, but you kind of hate to take the risk because that's, you know, 500 bucks a lot of money. People have used these in the past back when they were like $20 for a thousand and uh, they're around. You see these quite often, okay? And I can get these locally at uh, five 5,000 in a carton, but didn't want to do it. So these here, these primers, they went up the tube they're a little bit squared off on the base. Some of the others that have a more rounded cup, the pickup tube takes them, and probably that will have something to do feeding through your different primer mechanisms. You know, some might, the fact that they go up the tube, that's why I mentioned it easier, means it will probably feed through any priming system you have. Also easier. These are a little bit more squared off. There was a slight difference, but it still went up. Not as bad as I think the ZSRs were the worst trying to get in there um, in a tube. Now, when it came to seating, I'm going to say this was average. Didn't really need a lot of excessive force. And like I said, using my mixed brass, you will find it some depending on the manufacturer. Some brass, the, there is a variance in the pocket. There was a couple types of brass that, uh, or brands, that this was a little bit tighter, but on average, it was fairly a smooth operation without really having to go back or getting one stuck halfway like some others. Also, the quality of this was good. Everything looked fairly good. There was no roughness on the edges and, and all of that other stuff. As for light strikes, I didn't get any. Now, I believe this is the same primer used in some of the ammunition. I think basically this Max Tech, which was made in Bosnia Herzegovina, probably those are the primers used in that ammo. And on some pistols, I do get light strikes. Granted, I only tested 50 of these. You'd have to do a few hundred to, to make sure, but. It all went off all right. There were no light strikes, no issues. Loading was easy. And the accuracy, while, you know, going by accuracy, uh, it was acceptable, but not, uh, you know, some of these, like the one batch, the MKEs, you know, I, if you watch and you see where the target's blown out in the center, the accuracy does vary. And there's a lot of things that would affect it. If you change the powder or the brand of bullet from, say, Hornaday to Spear or something, all of these small idiosyncrasies uh, come into play when you reload your own ammo. But it was consistent. They went off well. There was no weird variations or anything different. And, you know, the accuracy, I'd say, is average. Okay? Acceptable. So... These here, you know, you get a lot of good reviews. A lot of people have put very good reviews out of the, on this brand of primer. And they are quite easy to find and available. The only problem is a lot of times they will be offered to you in a lot of 5,000. It was kind of difficult to find this small lot of 1,000 primers, but I did. Uh, you know, most places to advertise it sell you the carton of 5,000. But I would say they're all around good. I didn't see anything very unusual with them. Okay, and the quality looks well. And 
performance is there also. All right. Thanks, guys, and stay tuned.